Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking. Uh, me and the wife are out today. <coughs> got a nice little video lined up for you. Um, we've got our tinder bag and we are just collecting some tinder now on our way around. Just found this silver birch tree, as you can see. So I've stripped some of the bark off that. So that'll be good to get the, the fire started. So what we're we gonna do on this video guys, something I promised from the last video. Gonna show you how to make char cloth. So let's get on with it. So we've got some lovely dry bracken here, look. We take some of that as well. This here guys is um punk wood. It's absolutely saturated, so we won't be taking that. But on a drier day that would be ideal. There's the wife. So if you haven't seen this before guys. It's the gayest fire kit you'll ever see, right? So have a look at the last video. I'll put a card up now. So that is my fire kit. So this is what you're going to need to make char cloth, right guys? Going from left to right. So you want 100% cotton, okay? So what I've got here is I've got some dusters. Uh, and it cost a quid. There's enough in there for the load. Alternatively, cotton wool pads you can use them as well right you can need some sort of tin any size don't really matter but you need to put a hole somewhere on the top and you can need a scissors or a knife to cut the cotton into into small sections to fit in that tin so that's what you're ending up with look guys right I probably use about three quarters of one of those cloths so grab yourself some of that from like whatever, right? Don't matter. But um, you always got plenty of that then. But I, I say, use about three quarters of one cloth. So what I need to do now, guys, using my new saw, my Baco Laplander. Brilliant saws, guys. These are the ones we use up on the course. Fantastic. If you need like 21 quid off Amazon, I'll put a link down in the description, right? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, so I need to go and get some kindling now. We got some tinder. We collected that on the way. I go and uh, collect some wood now to get a fire going. It's worth pointing out too, guys. Uh, we've had a lot of rain, so everything is sodden. So it's good practice. So as you can see on the outside, everything's soaking wet. But inside is bone dry. So we need to make a dry base, guys, okay? Because everything's absolutely soaking. So I'm just taking two of the pieces of wood I just chopped down. Using my knife in the center. I'm just going to bat down four pieces. Knife in the centre. Like so. Nice and dry. So we'll make a fire now on this dry raft. Right, so here's my fire lay ready to go. So I've chopped up some nice wood there. There's my uh, tinder bundle in the centre. Got two braces to allow some oxygen. And I've got two bunches of dry stick there. Let's get started. Huh. 
the white smoke is because it's all wet guys or damp rather so what I've done here guys with the brace I've propped it up so there's plenty of air and oxygen getting underneath I've already got the tin on it doesn't take long guys it's not a long process what will happen is that's where the hole is there for um, when it starts to take you're gonna get smoke uh, steam and smoke come up there first and then you're gonna get um, a flame that will take probably 10 minutes once the flame dies and there's nothing else coming out of it it's ready I'll show you how to take it out if you haven't got gloves I've got gloves with me but I'm going to show you if you haven't got gloves with you what you do then guys just set it aside obviously wait for the tin to cool down it's already started to smoke now in the centre there as I say guys it's not a long process So there's a flame coming out to the centre now, look, see? So everything's going to plan. Shouldn't be long now, guys. It's been about five minutes. Um, so I say, I've got gloves with me. I always bring gloves with me. But if you didn't have gloves, that's all you would do, guys. Two pieces of green stick, which is alive, obviously. And you'd obviously lift it out like so. Like that. See? That's all it would do. And what we need to do then, guys, once we take it out, we need to plug that hole up. We need to plug that up. Because if air and oxygen gets inside, it'll reignite. So we plug it up now when we take it off. Let's take it off now. Taking a bit of earth. Make sure. Just compact it. And we just leave on out to cool down. Happy days. So as I said in my last video guys, when you're building a fire, it's an excellent idea, okay, to make a brace like so. So you can lift everything up, let oxygen flow. And as you've just seen, I propped it up with a piece of stick, like so. So there was plenty of airflow and that's what that was the success of this fire right the tin has cooled down take the stick out There we go. Perfect char cloth. And that's how you do it guys. Simple isn't it? Easy peasy Japanese. <laughs> So there you go guys, only a short video, but uh, I'm not getting paid for it, so fuck it, isn't it? Um, yeah, so it's as easy as that guys, it's uh, you know, you don't have to use a fire like that, you can use a gas stove, okay? Uh, you know, you can make some at home out the back garden with the kids, like, and uh, I'm saying you don't have to build a, a natural fire like so, you can do it on a gas stove. So thanks for watching, voice went in guys, a bit dry I think. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, thanks for all the support, please like this video, 
that's what gets us trying to move in and that's what we want we want it going forward um i'm working a lot of overtime this week guys i got 72 hours to get done so i won't be able to get an overnight in but i may be able to get a video in for you thursday i'm thinking of showing you what i carry in my smock so if that's something you'd be interested in please put down in the comments so i'll see you on the outside guys have a great week take care of yourselves out